Which brings me to our one and only YouTube video of the week. Did you guys see the the beatdown at McDonald's where that dude was standing there and these two ladies came into the McDonald's. It's the one right down there on, uh, uh, you get off the West 4th Street, E-Train, right there down in the village. You know, two blocks over, Joe's Pizza. That's a good slice of pizza. Right? Right as you come out of there, Spike Lee's probably filming people playing basketball and handball, going, yo, this is New York City. Right? I trashed him on Twitter yesterday. He was talking shit about my Boston Celtics. You know? So I, I said something, but I kept it funny, hoping that he would still put me in one of his movies, you know, and I could either play a, a, a complete nerdy white guy who doesn't understand black people or an over-the-top racist. <laughs> Um, anyways, I don't give a fuck. Get me in a movie. I'll do it. So anyways, that McDonald's down there. So these two ladies, they walk into the McDonald's, okay? And they try and buy a goddamn Big Mac and a Happy Meal. And they, they, they throw a $50 bill on the counter. Right there. Major red flag. Who the fuck pays f for McDonald's with a $50 bill? Who even has $50 and is going to go into McDonald's? Nobody. There's not been a $50 bill in McDonald's since they started that fucking place. So these ladies try to pass this 50. And the guy behind the counter, he starts looking at the 50. And he's like, excuse me, ladies. I don't think that this is real. So they go, listen, motherfucker. You better give us a goddamn fish fillet and uh, whatever, quarter pounder with cheese and give us our fucking change or we're going to fuck you up. And he said, um, I don't think so. And then this girl just hauls off and slaps the guy. Slaps him. And then the other one, and then she climbs up over the counter. Now the other one just starts just really slowly just walking around the counter like, well, I guess we got to fuck this guy up. This is what we do. And the guy backs up into the later area. And I don't know where the fuck he found this goddamn lead pipe. It was like a cartoon. You know, like a, in the cartoons when Bugs Bunny would just sort of, you know, he'd be standing sideways. You'd have a side view and he'd have a problem and he would just turn to, to, to the blind side. And all of a sudden he'd have a giant hammer and he'd hit Elmer Fudd over the head. And you'd be like, where the fuck did that come from? Was that leaning up against his right rabbit leg and I didn't see it? How did Elmer Fudd not fucking see it? Huh? With that gigantic head of his. How did he not view that as a threat? This guy did the real life version of that. He was backing up, backing up, and he was next to some french fries. And next thing you know, he's got this lead pipe. Oh, and he just fucking starts wearing these girls out with it. Bam, bam. Bam! I got to give it up to those girls. They took a good three, four each, and then they disappeared <laughs> under the counter. And he just keeps fucking hitting them. Bam! 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 And this lady's going, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! And he just keeps fucking going. Like a fucking, like this bitch is screaming. It's like a, those little doggy toys. You know those little doggy toys that squeak that, ee, ee, you know, they make those little noises. You know why dogs get so excited? Because it sounds like a fucking animal dying. And it, and, it, and it taps into their wild animal side. So this bitch is thinking she's helping shit. She should have been like, excuse me, is that something you really want to do? Instead, she's going, stop it, stop it. And this guy's he just fucking, he won't stop hitting him. Will not stop fucking hitting him. All right? So. You know how this shit works. Fucking two ladies attack a guy. Doesn't make a difference. They can sit there and slap you around like you're a fucking cartoon. You're supposed to be like, um, they're women. I need to respect them. This guy said, fuck that. Fuck that. And like Bugs Bunny uh, turned to the side and there was this magic lead pipe and he fucking kicked the shit out of both of them. So, of course, he gets arrested for assault. Um, and I got to admit. I was totally supporting what he was doing through the first 37 hits. <laughs> it's the last 19 that I'm just like, all right, all right, okay, okay. Neil was saying he actually uh, was like that dude in Drive when he stomped that kid's, that guy's head in in the elevator. He kind of went to that level. But at the end of the day, I'm like, well, that's why you don't go around slapping people in the fucking face because they might have gone to magician school and they know how to magically 
you have a fucking goddamn lead pipe out of nowhere. All right, so this guy's going to trial, and I'm thinking there's no fucking way. Then you find out this dude actually has a record. This guy went to jail for manslaughter. All right? And he got out. And there's only two places that you can get a job after you've gone to jail for manslaughter. You can either get into show business or you can work at McDonald's. <laughs> All right? You can't get a job at fucking Macy's. There, there is a glass ceiling. When you go to jail for fucking manslaughter, that's it. Unless your dad owns a company, you can get into sales. You can sell somebody a fucking piece of shit car, but you're not selling a Mercedes. You're going to be at uh, Sam's Hot Car Lot down the street. All right? Reservoir Dogs, anybody? That's why right there, okay, before I even continue talking about this story, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't walk around slapping perfect strangers in the face. It's because you don't know their backstory. You don't know what they've done. You don't know what they're capable of doing. This is a guy who already took somebody's life, and you're looking at him like, oh, hey, what's up there, Mick French Fry guy? Take this 50 or I'm going to slap the shit out of you. And you don't realize that this guy has been in fucking prison. All right? He probably knows how to turn that piece of paper with Ulysses S. Grant, turn that into a fucking shank somehow. He figured out how to fucking do it. You know what I mean? So, these two ladies get an unbelievable life lesson. And why you can't walk around acting like you're some action hero in real life. So anyway, so it goes to trial, and I can't fucking believe it. I'm like, there's no way this guy's not getting convicted. He's fucking, he's a guy. He beat down two women with a fucking pipe. He went above and beyond with this shit, and he has a record. It's fucking over, right? It's over. He's not rich. You know, it's over. This guy is going to jail. I can't fucking believe it. He got off. The guy got acquitted. So for once on the podcast, I'm actually happy. And I can tell you this. If they convicted him of a lesser charge because he just kept hitting them, <laughs> I wouldn't have been mad because I would have been like, dude, they were down. They were fucking down, and they were down, and then they were part of the tile, and you were still fucking hitting them. Uh, we have this clip, by the way. Um, on uh, 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 The MM Podcast page has now been turned over. The new fan page is just billbird.com. You just go to my podcast page. Um, and anyways, we'll have the video up there and all that shit. So anyway, shh. Um, he got off, and they charged the women with shit, and I don't think that they're getting off. They'll probably get lesser because they're because they're women, you know what I mean, and that's just women always get less time it seems, you know, because at the end of the day, the judge thinks, well, maybe if I give them a little less time, they'll come over here and blow me under my robe. I don't know what the deal is. I told you that story a few weeks ago when I saw that this amazing trumpet player, you know, and I was like, man, I never heard of this guy, and I found out he was murdered by his fucking girlfriend. In 1972, and she got out of jail in 1978. <laughs> I would go to jail longer for parking tickets than she did for killing a guy. Shot him right up on the bandstand. Took out a gun and fucking shot this. They had an argument. She left. She came back with the gun, and she shot this dude on the fucking bandstand. All these goddamn witnesses. And... She did that in 72 and was out by 78. So let's just say they, they, they went, they flew through her trial, sent her right to trial. She still only did five and a half years. I don't know. I don't know how that fucking works. Um, and I bet she was able to forgive herself, the fucking sociopath that she is, and she was able to go on and live her life. And then that guy is in the ground cold as his goddamn trumpet.